Could you hold this for me again? Just point and shoot. I'm going to stand right here. Point and shoot. It's ready, right? Yeah, it's on. everything's on. So you just point here. Yeah, just go. Uh, yeah, go like over. Maybe on that bench or something. Or <clears throat> so we're out here today to preach the Bible, <clears throat> to warn this campus about the wrath and judgment of God. Because I know and God knows that many of you are living in sin, sin, sin. Did you know on this campus there are many, many girls who are whoring around? Yes, there are many girls who are whoring around on campus. Can you please leave so that we can go to our classes? Stop being so close-minded. You need to be open-minded to what I have to say today. I have a problem with the whores on campus. You know what the word for whore in the Greek is in the Bible? The word whore is porne. Porne. The word for whore monger is porna, uh, pornos. And the word for whoredom is pornea. And that's, what, that's where you get the word porn from. Now many of you students are involved in porn. You watch porn, download porn on your iPhone. Download porn, it's called virus. Yeah, well, what happened? I, I, so I, I, def I defer to your superior knowledge of all matters dealing with porn. Don't download yeah. porn. You, yes, you, I, I'll refer, when I have a question about porn, I'll refer to your expert judgment, okay? Uh, but yeah, you have, so you have this porno, and you know what else is porn? It's called sexting. Sexting. Those of you that are taking photographs of your genitals. If you're taking photographs of your genitals and then, then texting it in a message to, uh, let's say, your boyfriend or some guy you met at the club, some stranger, or, hey, maybe a Democrat politician like Anthony Weiner. Well, that is a form of porno. How many of you have ever been involved in sexting before? She has. Who else has done... Have you ever received a sex text message before? He wants to get your attention. So the best thing to do is just walk away. Hey, take your own advice. Walk away, woman. Take your own advice. We actually go to school here. Yeah, we actually go to school here. Last time I checked, you don't. Hey, practice what you preach. We are. If you tell other people to walk away, lead the way. You can't do it. No, we're, we're here to that, that no typical what woman what can't do what know. she's told. <laughs> typical <laughs> woman. I've had, I've had you guys insult me all week long. I've been out here for like six hours. Oh. And all week long you've called me a whore. And you've told me to get Whatever you do, me. don't stay here. Whatever you do, don't stay and listen to me <laughs> preach. Here. Just you leave. 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 Sexting is pornography. Amateur porno. And if you have ever been involved in sexting, you have made yourself a digital whore. A digital whore. Or a digital whoremonger. And that's wickedness. The Bible calls it fornication. You can also call it pornication. It's a sin. Now, another problem on campus with these college girls, these promiscuous women, these loose Lucies on campus, the best kind. <laughs> is that these girls are registering online to be sugar babies. Does anybody know what a sugar baby is? Yes, yeah, so they sugar baby their way through college. You can get $3,000 a month if you become a sugar baby. That's what, a lot of these, that's what a lot of these college girls are doing. They become sugar babies. For $3,000 a month, they're looking for a sugar daddy. A sugar daddy. That's prostitution. Legal prostitution. And that shows you the values of many college girls today. You have become 
morally bankrupt. You know what sex is for? Marriage. What a novel idea. Sex is for marriage. Sex is for babies. You know, uh, the climax of sex is the ejaculation of sperm. And when that sperm meets the egg, there's conception, there's life. And fornication is bad for society because you have bastard children. Children born in broken homes. Because Fast Freddy, the fornicating frat boy, didn't want to be a father after he jacked you up. And so, yeah, you're, uh, if you're a fornicator, you're contributing to the delinquency of society. You're not loving your own children because you're going to give birth to a baby in a broken home. Now, I know many of you, many of you grew up in broken homes. For many of you, your father wasn't around. Your mother wasn't around. That... That should show you by experience the detrimental effect of whorishness, the detrimental effect of whoredom upon society. So if any of you are whores today, if any of you are whoremongers today, you need to repent. That means change your mind. The best thing to do is just walk away, don't give them attention. No, this is not hate, this is love. Can't you feel the love? Does anybody feel the love out here? Anybody? He feels the love. Hey, we got one. See, there we go. See, love, love warns the wicked. Hate would be for me to be silent, to just let you whore around and go to hell. Because whores burn like s'mores. And it would not be a very loving thing for me to just let you whores burn like s'mores. It would be loving for me to vocalize it, to warn you, to reason with you, to persuade you. Do we have any atheists in the crowd today? I'm not surprised there. Atheists, atheists. See, when you want to live in sin, and God knows what your sins are, when you want to live in sin, you, you create a fantasy. A dream world when there is no God no hell no judgment everything just magically evolved from nothing that's atheism everything just magically evolved from nothing atheism is dumber than dumb even the Vikings believed in Odin even the Greeks believed in Zeus now there's no proof of Zeus no proof of Odin it's pretty dumb. Nevertheless, atheism is dumber than dumb. I would sooner believe in Zeus than to believe in atheism because it's so obvious that there's a design to the universe. You are so judgmental. This is judging me. And no, I said. If you're doing this, or if you're doing that, if the shoe fits, wear it. Listen, you walk like a duck, you quack like a duck, you talk like a duck, you're a whore. Okay? No. Atheism is dumber than dumb. It's so obvious there's a design. We were talking about sex earlier. When a man is aroused, he gets an erection. See, when a woman is sexually aroused, her vagina lubricates naturally. No need, no need for the KY jelly. You have a natural lubrication when you, when you turn on a woman. In fact, she even has a button, a lubrication button. And if you push her button, she lubricates. Because, I mean, if you go down a water slide without any water, just skin on plastic contact, there's going to be friction. Ah, ah, ah. It's going to hurt. And, uh, well, homosexuality violates the design of God because the anus does not lubricate. 
There's no lubrication when a man is sexually aroused in his rectum. Because the anus was not designed for penetration. The vagina was. Don't you see? You can see the intelligent mind of God. The design of God. This gentleman is promoting gay sex. With that guy. All four. Fuck up. Fuck up. That's sex. He said. <laughs> Sir, I do not appreciate that. Are you a homosexual? Are you interested? Are you a homosexual? Sing it like you got a pair. Sing it like you got a pair. Are you a homosexual? Uh, that was Usher, and Usher is the furthest thing from home. He's a pedophile! What? What? Yeah, didn't he have sex with a 13-year-old girl? <laughs> oh, R. Kelly! You know, I wouldn't be... We could also talk about all the precepts. Black Lives Matter. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Guys, I know this is entertaining, but it only encourages him to watch. The best thing to do is just walk away. Especially you loudmouth women, walk away. Eventually we will have no. Yes. Yeah. No. You women need to leave. Get out of here. here do not here. stay and listen to me preach. Don't do it. Nothing. Just leave. No, back up. Walk away. We go to school here. This is our campus. We take classes. We have more work to do. I'm here to give you Bible 101. There is a God in the beginning. God, the solar system, the ecosystem, the digestive system, the reproductive system. It's all indicative of order and order is indicative of mind, the intelligent mind of God. An atheist is dumber than dumb. Everything magically evolved without a God from nothing. Yeah. It's dumber than dumb. So any of you atheists need to stop it. You need to get your head out of the sand. It's so obvious that there's a God. But you, you close your eyes and say, God, I don't see you. You plug your ears and you say, God, I can't hear you. You say, oh, uh, there's no proof that there's a God. No, you deny all the evidence. You deny all the proof. I am proof that there's a God. You are proof that there is a God. That dog is proof that there is a God. Yeah, you know what his name is? His name is Odin. Oh. Oh. That's true. Odin's a proper name for a dog. Odin is a proper name for a dog. Now, so you have to start where the Bible starts. In the beginning, God. Let's all agree that there is a God. You know, don't be... Don't be, don't be so foolish as to deny the obvious reality in which you live. Admit it. And not only is there a God, you have a conscience. God gave you a conscience. You know in your heart you shouldn't be a whore. You know in your heart you should not be a homosexual. You know in your conscience you shouldn't lie and steal. You know in your conscience you shouldn't be a drunkard. Well, no, uh, men, men cannot be whores. No, they can. No, they can't. Why can you not? No, only women, only women can be whores. What if I get paid? Because the male, no, the male counterpart is whoremonger. Men are, men who are promiscuous are whoremongers. They're mongerers of whores. What if it's many, one guy sleeping with many women and the woman's only sleeping with God. Yeah, well, if it's out of marriage, it's whoredom. You're a private whore. You're, you're the private whore of your boyfriend. Yeah. Now, you know in your conscience right from wrong, and you can infer just from your conscience there's going to be a judgment day. You can infer from your conscience God is going to hold you accountable for your choices. And we've all sinned. Even me, 
I used to sin every day. You know what sins I did? Yes. I used to get drunk every night. I used to get high every day. I used to do naughty things with girls. I used to be a drug dealer, street fighter, gangster rapper. Yes. In, in the rough streets of Connecticut, I was living the thug life. Sure was. I even got my neck slit in a knife fight. Gave me a permanent scar. And come look at it. Come look. It's right here. Goes in the back of the neck all the way to the front. And the only reason, the only reason he didn't get my jugular is because my hands were up. Because I was a street fighter. So he didn't get my jugular. Why are yoga pants bad? Yoga pants reveal your camel toe. Clothing, clothing is meant to cover, cover. That's why they call it clothing. It means to cover. But when you're revealing the curvature of your camel toe, then you are not covering the, the curves of your body. So it's not clothing. It's like a thicker layer of skin. God's going to judge you all. God's going to judge you all. For every beer that you guzzle, every joint that you smoke, every hoochie and hoe that you sleep with, God's going to judge you all. I've done none of that. Have you ever lied? Oh, so that's a confession. Have you ever stolen? So that's a confession. Have you ever looked at a woman with lust? So that's adultery in the heart. So you're a lying, stealing adulterer at heart. I'm a teenager. What do you expect? I expect you to... How old are you? 19. I, by the time I was 19, uh -huh. I was a Christian. You were a street fighter in Connecticut, according to you. Yeah, but I quit that when... <laughs> hey, I, I left the thug life when I was 15. Okay. By the time I was 16, I had given it up. It's the same. Even then, I still have yet to do any of that. It's you could die today. No, You're not promised to, to be 20. You're not promised tomorrow, but you're promised judgment day. Okay. So you need to confess you're a sinner. Admit that it's wrong. Don't justify it. Don't say, well, everyone's done it. Everyone's done it. So what? Everyone's wrong. Everyone's wrong. According to your story, you just said you were a street fighter in Connecticut. Now you're backtracking on it by saying it was when I was 15. So maybe you should have put that in your part of the story to make sure. But yeah, when I was 15 years old, I was a street fighter, drug dealer, gangster rapper in Connecticut. Living the thug life, puffing on blunts and sipping on gin and juice with my mind on my money and my money on my mind. So because you repented that. Golden. What well, I, when I was locked up, I heard a hell fire preacher. You were locked up? Oh, yeah, many times. Oh. In fact, I was facing five to ten years in prison at the age of 15 for my second felony. You've done more than I have with my Larceny in the first. And I cried out to God to save me. I didn't want to go to prison for five to ten years. But he didn't just save me from prison, he saved me from hell. He didn't just save me from hell, he saved me from sin. So wait, you were trying as what an did adult? You think about they wanted to, I never went to trial. So what exactly did you do then? Well, well I, it's a long story. I, my first felony was assault in the second degree because I assaulted a man in the head with a beer bottle. Glass Corona beer bottle. Okay. That's assault in the second, first felony. And two bucks in hell. Because heaven ain't got a ghetto. There's not a heaven for a G. No heaven for a G. See, that's what Tupac said. Tupac said, I wonder if there's a heaven for a G. Or is God just another cop waiting to bust my ASS if I don't go pop? Yeah, only God can judge me. That's not true. I can judge you too. Why? Bible says the saints will judge the world. Spiritual man judges all things. 
Preach it. Woo! You know what else Tupac said? Tupac said, Lord. Tupac said, Lord, help me change my ways. Show a little mercy on Judgment Day. It wasn't me. I was raised this way. Oh, you know the lyrics. I had every Tupac song memorized. Lies. I just did. Lies. He said, I'm not a killer, but don't push me. Revenge is like the sweetest joy next to getting. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. Yeah, Tupac's in hell. Biggie's in hell. Big pun is in hell. He's not in Cuba with his cousin. He's in hell. Now, I was on my way to hell. I was committing felonies. I was on my way to prison. I was on my way to hell. I was puffing on blunt, sipping on gin and juice, doing cocaine, meth, PCP. But if Jesus can save me, he can save you. The Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. The old is past. The new has come. It was gross. I wouldn't recommend it. Yes. Let me read to you some Bible verses here. Some of you have never, ever read this before. Some of you have never been touched pleasantly by a man before. This is the book of Romans. That's New Testament. New Testament. You see, the Bible is made up of two testaments. The old and the new. Yeah. Romans chapter 6. It was discovered that the optimum combination... Go ahead. You go ahead. Verse 17. Says, but God be thanked that ye were the servants of sin. That was me, a servant of sin. Hey, get your Bible. Break out your Bible. Download the Bible app on your phone. Download the Bible app. Romans chapter 6. It's towards the back. Right after the book of Acts. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans. Right after Acts, Romans. Chapter 6. And a positive with beyond certain coefficients. 17 to 18. Amen. Tell, tell me when you're there. Scheme, All right, she's there. Here we go. But God be thanked that ye were the servants of sin, but ye have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered you. Here's the key, the best part, the climax of it all. Being then made free from sin, ye become the servants of righteousness. See, I was a servant of sin. I did the will of my father, the devil. I did the will of my master, sin. But when I was delivered by the blood of Jesus, I went from serving sin to serving God. I, I put down the blunt and I picked up the Bible. Yeah, I put down the bong and I picked up the Bible. I wasn't getting high on marijuana. I was getting high on the Holy Ghost. You dressed up like Brian Johnson from ACDC, you know that? This guy didn't even button his cup button. ACDC? Who's Brian Johnson, an electrician? Hey man, you still need to button this, okay? And you need to get the button in your, your khaki pants. It's, it's not professional. No. Nobody's gonna trust the guy that doesn't have the button done on their khaki's back pocket. Now let me give you the test. This is you're not wearing cufflinks either. This is the test of whether you're a friend of God or an enemy of God. One way to increase flexibility of a basis set is to decontract it. That is, we might imagine. If you love sin, and instead of constructing you're an enemy of God. Because sin is contrary to God. And if you're in allegiance to sin, you're in rebellion to God. 
The Bible says, you who love the Lord hate that which is evil. Evil! Orthogonal! You keep saying the same thing. I'm not leaving! Stop asking me to leave! I'm not leaving! You're so close minded! <laughs> yes. Closed orbitals? Closed orbitals? You who love the Lord hate that which is evil. See, I hate sin because sin is harmful. The problem with this campus, we don't have enough hatred. So I come out here to spread the hate. I'm out here to spread the holy hate. Excuse me, sir. If I could have more of your time, I'd like to talk to you about density functional theory. Because we need the hatred that God has a hatred for sin. But if you don't hate sin, you're an enemy of God. See, if God is your friend, sin is your enemy. Woo! What was that, a banshee? I don't know, I just kind of pour the sound of your voice. Yeah, if, if God is your, you're hurting my ears. Thank you. Do it again. Bible. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> if you're just spouting disconnected phrases, I don't give a shit. Do it again. Just gonna you don't do it on demand? It's 2016. Hey guys, we we shouldn't have to put together. up with that shit. Mr. B. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to hear? Black lives matter. Black lives matter, yo. They do matter. They do matter. Yeah, if I was out here saying black lives matter, You'd be okay. I'm out here saying black souls matter. And you say, oh, we don't want to hear it. That doesn't make sense. I'm out here trying to save your soul from hell. <laughs> your blackened soul that's been corrupted by sin. Yeah, if God is your friend, control your demon, woman. Control your demon. Stand up there, run in that corner. No, see what? Officer, she's disturbing my peace. You're kind of disturbing That's me. disorderly conduct. We're not touching you. It's hurting my ears, assault on my eardrums. Assault of our sanity. <laughs> Think of the children. If God, if God is your friend, then sin is your enemy. But if sin is your friend, then God is your enemy. So who's your friend today, sin or God? Because that'll that'll determine who's your uh, who's your enemy, who's your friend, sin or God. <laughs> wicked, wicked, wicked. This woman's obviously disturbed in her conscience. 